today before I go to my drum lesson, I have to get blood drawn. It's just for like, you know, regular standard uh, physical stuff. So here I am now going to get my blood drawn and then I will head to my drum lesson. Don't mind me, I'm just sitting here all by myself. Don't mind me. I just want to acknowledge my stain, my sippy cup stain. It's what happens when you try to help the environment. I predict that there will be a dramatic increase in fender benders when all straws are eliminated. There's gonna be like a span of time where there's just this huge rise in these car accidents and people are like, why? And I'm like, this is <laughs> Cool, is that pad okay? Is it a little low or is that fine for you? Okay. I think I'm good. I think this is good. I wanna go through a couple warm ups and then we'll get into that, all right? This is one of those patterns that you should just do regularly, you know? Rebound, all nice open strokes. Eight on hand, we're gonna play very quietly. Technically there's about eight dynamic markings, right? By taking each one and playing it, you get comfortable at that particular dynamic, and then we bring it up just a little bit more. And what we do at some point is we work on the crescendo. So you take a crescendo of eight on a hand, which would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you're doing one note at each of those levels that we just did the eight on the hand at. Give me that nine stroke roll cadence. <laughs> nice and slow, nice yeah, and slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice and slow. Keep going. So it's in perfect place. That's exactly where I need it to be. I would suggest that you try to make the pulse a little bit more audible by maybe raising the foot, the leg a little bit and actually giving it a stomp here. Almost done here with this next little thing. Oh good, this looks complicated. Ah, it's fine. And I thought it'd be easy today. Uh, Come on, they took my blood, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> They I took want, my blood and I, I spilled my blood. coffee. I want blood too. Okay, it wasn't, as, it wasn't as scary as I thought yeah, it was going to no, be. <laughs> no, 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 exactly. No, no. It's nothing super fancy, just kind of this successive building of where the double strokes are. You could always take all this stuff and play it left hand lead. Yep. One, E, and uh, yep. two. Exactly. That goes for anything I ever give you. Interesting. Right? Anything uh -huh. I ever give you, if you if you feel great with it off the right and you're like, oh, this feels good, go left hand lead. Okay. Yeah, yeah good for you. Okay, cool. That's it. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's get on the, okay. the noisemaker. First, you were some of them. You were getting the the movement, but the hi hat open wasn't prominent. But then we talked about how to get a really strong open. Sound. Yep. Making sure the hi hats are open early enough, wide enough, and that we use the shoulder of the stick yeah. to strike. And then we get a really thick, prominent sound. On the electronic set, you may have to spend just a little bit of time with the hi hat. Kind of discover what point on the pedal when you lift up do they actually open. Honestly, opening and closing the hi hats in general is just difficult. There's all this four way coordination. It's really hard, yeah. yeah. I'm, I struggled. I don't even know. Come on. Don't expect anything from me. You'll come out on top. I know it. Did the movement, but didn't quite get the sound. Yep. I'm gonna go print something out. Okay. So feel free. You can work one a little more if you wish, or you can go to number two. I'm a noodle. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back in two seconds. It is, but it's not alone. Oh, but... Yes. Yeah. One, two, three. Ah, and three. 
Okay. Take your time. Take your time. Let me count. Yep, you're doing good. What's going on right now, okay, is that you're actually doing two different techniques with your feet. Yeah. This is okay. Okay. It's not a bad thing. Sometimes I use my entire leg. Sometimes I just lift my toes and I keep my ankle planted. It depends on what, what's going on, how I'm, what music we're speaking. But at first, you were doing it both where you were lifting your legs both like up, yeah. I believe, right? And you noticed it was like I'm this, like, I started this to whole, fall back. Yeah, this, you lose your balance. Taking this pattern where it's just your feet like this and actually trying to get comfortable lifting both legs is going to be a very good thing for you to do as well because okay. you need to find this center okay. and be comfortable with the top part of your body staying still while lifting both legs. It's also going to be a very good thing. So right, so right now you're kind of holding your hands here. That's fine. I mean, what, I have to what I would suggest is just <laughs> let your hands hang loosely by your side. Like, what the hell do I do with my oh, hands? No, 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 no. I know. You know, I would put one in each hand. Okay, one yeah, it's a good hand. habit. Then just let them loosely hang by your side. Now go ahead and try to do this right. When I sit at the, my drum set, assuming I'm just... I have time to do whatever I want. Most of the time, I'll come at something like that with my feet. A lot of the times, I'm doing it with double bass um, as opposed to the hi-hat, but I'll get some kind of a slow double bass thing going, like a doo -doo 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 -doo, right? And then, as I'm doing that, usually quietly, I'm suiting up, I'm getting my, my monitors on or the metronome, or, and I try to do these little things while I just keep this pattern going. You can even try to do some stretches and try not to lose your balance or the rhythm that's going on with the feet. Okay. But just leave your heel down and go two, three, and four, and base, and snare, and base, and snare. And then just bring that right hand up. So first just bring it up. Don't play yet. Just bring it up. Okay, so now you're sort of ready. have to do that I don't know how many times until it starts to just become something you can do and if it's not working just back it off break it down yeah. to the fundamental thing just the feet great cool nicely done Thanks, man. so now That's let's go down to the third one. Oh, shall we then you can just jump right into it and try to play it right which I recommend you can just go for it <laughs> you know and see if you succeed and then if we need to we break it down so just try to play it right out the gate the whole thing <laughs> All right, so there we are. I had some concepts in there. Right, the left foot is the same. The yes. right foot is the guy that's now doing something else. That's right. Different. So let's get the feet. So, so hands by your side. Hands by my side. Nice. When doing the feet, don't think about the open okay. per se, right? Yeah. Think about the actual chick. A note that's being played. <clears throat> I'm, gonna let you, I'm gonna let you go. Let for me a little let bit. me play with it for a second. Sure. Just give my brain a moment. Yeah. And no, there are no questions. Go ahead, now. <laughs> so let's get rid of the hi hat. Let's see if we can bring the left foot into uh, that. Let's see if I can. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and stop. Right? So here again, we had to isolate even deeper. Yeah. This is the type of stuff that I want you to take with you for the rest of your life. Okay, stop. Let me break it down. Let me yeah. isolate it. And, and, you know, and so that's, for all of us, that's the hardest part is just the the patience to say, let me do it. And then yeah. if you force yourself to do it, we'll see that the success comes quicker. Yeah. So let's bring the snare drum in now.
difficult, but, but yeah. breaking it down and bringing it in, holy <laughs> shit, that changes the game. Yeah, it does. So last week we did uh, Starlight, right? We did. It's over 100 degrees in the valley today, and I love it. I love it so much. But my camera was doing something funny. We don't know. Even though I love 100 degree weather, I do enjoy filming without being sweaty, so let's give it a whirl. That's not bad. So that was an amazing lesson again with Dan. Ever since we started working on adding more limbs, I've been struggling a lot more, but I feel like that's where you grow, right? Like your, your growth is in the struggle. While it's very frustrating in the process, it's definitely very satisfying. It was very overwhelming at first to, to do this, but when he broke it down with like, we'll start with the kick drum. Okay, now add the hi-hat. Okay, now add the snare. Now add your hand on the hi-hat. It made complete sense. And of course, slowing things down, counting out loud, fundamental thing. We're playing a really fun song now, Starlight by Muse, and I just love Muse. I really do, and I'm really excited that I can even try to play a song. It's not like an easy song, but Dan has broken it down to something that I can play, which is really cool. It's really warm. We're going to turn the AC on again because I'm sweating. <laughs> Very happy with the progress. I feel that this is that growing pain. This is the part where I'm gonna really improve and become something more than just a girl who can like hold down a beat. I used to tell people, I can play everything except drums. Now I feel like I can say I play drums and it's a very satisfying experience for me. So here we go, onward. This morning I went and got some blood drawn just like a regular routine and I was expecting you know, at least 15 minutes of my time, but it literally took me about 10 minutes from the time I parked my car to the time I left the building. And the girl who did it was amazing. She did a great job, no bruising or anything, and it was just fantastic. If you enjoyed this episode of my drum vlog, if you like music and musicians and all things music, please subscribe, please follow, make sure that you uh, hit the notifications so that you know when a new video goes up. You can also follow me at all the regular social sites somewhere here. There's something, I think I put it in the corner over there. Like there. I put a lot of stuff up on my social media very regularly, so go ahead and follow me there. You can follow my band too, Time and the Dragon. That's Dan and me and a couple other fellas. Thank you so much for watching. So glad you guys are on this journey with me. I love sharing it with you. Hope you're having a wonderful day, night, morning, tomorrow, weekend, whatever it is. And I will see you all very soon. Bye!